Atlanta Street Interviews is a YouTube channel that has blown up on YouTube over the last 10 months. Its channel's about page says that it's interesting, deep, hard-hitting interviews of real people in the city of Atlanta. The channel has garnered its notoriety by interviewing homeless people on the streets of Atlanta. While the host, who never shows his face, appears to care deeply about the situations of these homeless people, it is the allegations from recent homeless people that he's interviewed that has people side-eyeing his true intent. Let's get into it. So recently, this young lady that he interviewed made some disturbing allegations against him. Listen to what she had to say. So like almost two weeks ago, this guy from Atlanta Street Interviews found me by Five Point Station in downtown Atlanta. The guy, Marcus from Atlanta Street Interviews, asked to interview me. So obviously he knew that I was homeless because he came to me out of nowhere. So I was desperate for money, so I did it. He said, give me $10. <sighs> so we did the interview. They took me to the secluded spot, like one block down, where y'all saw me at. Right after the interview, the guy asked me for sex, and he asked me how much would I charge. I will admit, out of desperation, I was wanting to, because I that was rock bottom. Um, it's about to, it's getting cold. I don't know where I'm gonna go. So, uh, and I should have felt some type of way that like, damn, this man really just offered me sex after the interview. But that mean he really didn't care about what he said to me. Really, the interview was like it's just something for him to profit off the less fortunate. But I was just so caught up in my situation, I didn't look at it that way. Okay, so we're going to unpack that in a minute, Anybody as Marcus would say. Monique. But let's take it back Monique to the beginning. The See, this guy here, at first he was exposing Marcus for not paying the homeless people for their interviews, but profiting off of them. Then he started exposing Marcus for stepping it up to $5. And now, as this girl says, I guess he stepped it up to $10. This is Marcus. The guy that I just showed you, started following Marcus around, exposing his face and who he is to make people aware that he was using the homeless people for profit, but not giving back to the homeless people or actually helping them. So this guy ran Marcus out of Atlanta for a while, and he went to Arizona and started interviewing women there. Marcus has recently returned to Atlanta, but he has relocated from the downtown area where he was originally interviewing these homeless people. In the midst of all of this, people who were following his channel questioned his, his intent because he always asked the women these eerie questions about how much they charge for sex. But let's finish unpacking Monique's story. He said, call him if I ever need anything. So, something happened. I went through something. Like, I was locked out somewhere. Like, it was just too much. So, I called him to ask that he post the video because I'm still outside, right? That's all I called him for, to ask that he post the video on the YouTube. So, maybe he said the universe and the YouTube people is going to support me. He picked me up and said, I'm going to pick you up. No worries. So he picked me up. He was like, uh, I'm going to let you stay. I'm going to give you a two-day trial. I'm going to give you a two-day trial. And you can stay here. And he was like, I'm going to keep it real. Unlike other niggas, I want sex from you. I'm not going to pay you. So whenever you, whenever I want, that's you're a house guest too. But when I want sex, you're going to have to have sex. And I said, okay, because I didn't have nowhere to go. So I'm just letting that shit ride. Cool. So once he get, take me to this house, this is within 24 hours. He asked me for sex right after the interview. That was like about 2 or 3 p.m. that day. But the next day, it was about morning time, 10 or 11. So this was all within 24 hours. So he took me to his house, made me wash all my clothes, and he he wanted sex as soon as I got in that bitch. And I, I'm like, oh my God, here's some more bullshit. Another wolf at sheep clothes.
COVID. I said that in my head. I'm like, let me see if I can get through this. I don't know what I've been thinking, but I just don't have a chance. But after I washed my clothes, he was talking to me. I was like kind of still telling my story because I thought he was really just genuine man. After I was telling like my feelings and talking about my problems, he was like, okay, so you ready for sex? I'm like, are you really genuine about your interviews? He was like, that's his, he didn't say in his exact words, but he said something like, he saved all the emotions for his day job. I said, damn. And then I was like, oh my God, that's crazy how I used to watch you when I was sleeping in my car before it got to this point. He was like, yeah, everything happens for a reason. God lied me with you and this and that and all this bullshit that God, like people use their spiritual gift to manipulate people. And I'm gonna stop her video right there because if he's truly out here using these homeless people in this way, He's manipulating them. This situation was truly heartbreaking for me. Being from Atlanta, I was a supporter of his channel. I was a supporter of someone trying to help the homeless population that's in Atlanta. I was a supporter of someone trying to do good. A black man trying to do good in our community. After seeing him be exposed, I looked at him. This man does not look like a man who is in his 30s. This looks like a man who has had a hard life. And I believe her story wholeheartedly. However, there are many of his supporters that do not believe her. A comment in her comment section said, I talked to one woman that was on there. I met her on Facebook after she gave him her Facebook page. I think some of you people may remember her from a few months ago. She was hanging with the kid from Ohio. Then the white chick got in the kid's life and they went back to Ohio with his dad and cousin. But she told me that Marcus took her to his house to take a shower. Some of you may remember her, but I could not understand why he would take a homeless woman to his house to take a shower. It just did not sound right to me. And I'm a man. And I know this isn't right to be doing. So then another comment to post that I believe her. He interviewed my younger cousin. Then he asked him if he was a top or bottom. I was disgusted and told him, so yes, I believe her. And Marcus has been known to ask absurd questions like this. I question if he's by they, they, they have sex with you i'm gonna say something man you know you do have extremely like just kind of beautiful skin man Thanks. like you do man it's it's really smooth and dark man it's super melanated um all right man so so <laughs> all right so you guys and maybe it's just me but those comments really creep me out and the way he kept laughing and chuckling like he had the hardest time trying to compose himself after describing this naked man it made me immediately think about the homeless man that exposed him in the beginning it made me wonder if marcus had violated this homeless guy vaughn and that's what made vaughn start to expose him I can see him not wanting to talk about the violation because, you know, it can be embarrassing. But hey, it's just a theory that I thought of. So after all of these negative comments that Marcus was getting about asking women these personal and intimate questions, he started this new series now to justify him asking these questions to these women. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with our After Dark series. So guys, our After Dark series, we talk to ladies of the night. And so the questions are going to be a little more geared towards that. So you see the way he tries to justify him asking these types of questions. But for those of you who do not believe Monique's story, just help me understand this. Why would he delete the video that he did of her after being exposed? Knowing that it would garner in so many views probably millions of views because people are now talking about it and he will make a lot of money off of it. There has to be some truth to this. It has to be. 
But hey guys, let me know what y'all think about this situation. Do y'all watch this channel? Will you continue to watch this channel? Just let me know how you feeling about this thing. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye!